Located in the historic Spring House on Monroe Avenue in Pittsburgh, Monroe's Restaurant is no longer Rochester's best hidden secret. Owners Catherine Mott and Dr. Kenneth Nozick's attention to detail pairs with their dedication to delivering a memorable experience every time. Well, the, the Spring House has been around since 1822, um, and it is definitely a Rochester icon. It was a place for everyone to come on big holidays. Uh, Mother's Day was their number one holiday. They fed up to 800 people. And our whole reason for coming to this building was more about the spring house over the more modern part of the building. We, uh, we're an Italian-American cuisine. A lot of the recipes that we have are Kathy's original recipes and her family's recipes. So about 90% of the recipes that are on our menu are my family's recipes and recipes that I have created. She allows me to play with it a little bit more than she has in the past because, she, you know, the trust that she has in me. Two years ago when we started the process in thinking of reopening the lower level as it once was, we started to do a lot of research and there's so many speakeasies in San Francisco and New York City um, and we just knew that we could make a really comfortable atmosphere for people to come and enjoy their evening. Well, scoff law in general means, you know, it's a term for breaking a law that came about in the Prohibition era. And Prohibition is where speakeasy came from, speakeasies came from, and that's where we're looking to go here. We want this to be a speakeasy. We want this to be somewhere where people just feel like they're in their own little world and can come in and enjoy themselves. You're definitely going to feel like you're back in the 1920s when you enter the scoff law. All of the staff is dressed in flapper dresses, the guys are in suspenders, and they're just great looking people. We're trying to bring back that feeling of the bar with a small restaurant atmosphere. What we wanted to bring back to life is what actually probably went on here at the Spring House back in the 1920s. I think just walking in the building alone down here in the scoff law, just looking around and seeing the feel of the vintage look and the bartenders dressed up in their 20s outfits, I just, you know, it's a gorgeous look and everybody, it's gonna, you know, ideally it's gonna make you feel like you're back in that era. So a lot of the dishes on the menu were created by our chef Andy Vaccaro and myself. A lot of Italian American flair, just like Monroe's, only totally different. The uh, uniqueness of our menu just doesn't compare to anything around here. We're going with an Italian-American theme, but I'd really try to go with a, a couple items from the era that would really just stand out. We've worked so hard at getting one of the best drink lists in Rochester, and the wines are unbelievable. Dr. Nozick, who is my partner, has just gone above and beyond in creating our wine list. The scoff law itself, I want everyone to just really come in and truly enjoy the experience that you're going to have because the quality and effort that we're putting into the food and just the overall experience is really what I want everyone to come down and see. So come on down, enjoy the experience that the Scofflaw is offering and jump back into the 1920s.